In this tutorial, we will teach you how to use different workspaces efficiently in Photoshop. In Photoshop, the workspace panel is shown in the top right hand of the application bar. It is the easiest and the quickest way to change the layout of the tools and panels you are using, depending on the task you are performing. What Adobe Photoshop has done is that they have made a few workspace presets for its users to work on. The default workspace in which Photoshop launches is Essentials. This preset shows the most widely used tools and panels, including navigation, swatches, and layer panels. The next workspace you come across is the Design workspace, which gives you the most common tools and panels used by designers. For example, the Character, Paragraph panel for formatting text, and also the Swatches panel. Another workspace you have is Painting, which brings out the painting tools and panels like the Paintbrush, Swatches, Navigator, and the Brush presets. Coming to Photography, this preset displays the typical photography tools and panels used, like the Histogram, and the Adjustments panel for easier application of changes to photographs. The 3D preset shows the layers and mask panels that are used extensively while working on 3D. This preset will only show in the extended version of Photoshop. The Motion Workspace preset displays the Done Source panel and the Animation panel, which is commonly used in animation. Most people get excited about this particular panel, new in CS5, as it shows the new features made in CS5, which are the Paragraph and Character panels, the Mini Bridge panel, Paintbrush, and the new 3D tools. Photoshop allows you to save, reset, and delete workspaces. If while working on a preset workspace you move around the tools and panels, Photoshop CS5 will remember the changes you have made and will show the exact same tools and panels every time you open that particular preset workspace. If you love the workspace you were working on before, you can save it as your own workspace and reset the old one. For that, just go on the Window menu, select the Workspace option, and click on New Workspace. Name it whatever you want, and then press OK. Creating multiple workspaces gives you the ease to work on something efficiently, as it saves up your time put in to move around particular tools and panels according to your needs. You can keep on creating and deleting different workspaces as your need be. To delete any workspace, go to the Window menu again, just drag your mouse to the workspace, and click on the Delete Workspace option. A dialog box will appear asking you which workspace needs to be deleted. Press OK, and you're good to go.